Welcome back, everyone. My name is Craig. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of our Pixelmon Johto slash Kanto series. If you guys missed last episode, definitely go check it out in the link down below, as well as the whole playlist, which includes every Pixelmon part. If you guys missed any episode, definitely hit those up as well. But, my friends, I do apologize that I did not upload anything to either one of my channels. Uh, Thursday or Friday, I've just been super busy. I've hardly gotten any sleep. Just been busy with schoolwork and uh, all that stuff, but it's not been too good. But today I'm uh, rejuvenated and ready to go, so hopefully you guys are cool with that. And uh, let's just begin. So we last last left off here in, I think it's, is, is this Fuchsia City? I want to say it's Fuchsia. I think that's what the name, is, the name of it is. I haven't, honestly have not played, uh, like I said, the Pokemon original games in a long time, so I forgot what all the city names were, but I'm pretty sure this is Fuchsia. So that's... Uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure this is also the poison type gym. Oh, we're already being attacked. Let's go, Star Raptor. Use your uh, aerial lace. All right, there we go. I'm gonna actually just drop a Poke Heal right here, um, and be ready to go. All right, so yeah, this is Fuchsia. I'm pretty sure, which is the poison type, and uh, yeah. So I think we'll just battle the gym leader, and then maybe explore the town a little bit, and then just go on to the next town. I'm gonna drop a spawn point here. I really hope this works, and we don't have to spawn another trainer in like we had to last episode. We will see. Yes, I think it did work. Sweet. So uh, if these if these trainer or if these gyms do not work, it's honestly really annoying. Cause like you saw last episode, I'll have to spawn in a whole trainer. Ooh, there's like a what the heck? It's like an invisible wall here. Oh, cheeky cheeky. I think this was actually in the original games as well. There was like an invisible wall around the uh, actual trainer. Oh, is it just? It's just on the floor. <laughs> I think that's the invisible wall. That that gray uh that gray just like stone. So I'm pretty sure you can just see it right there. Uh, but yeah, there's actually trainers around here that you have to fight while walking through the maze, but this one's pretty easy. You can basically just see on the floor what's, uh, what's, like, the invisible wall and what's not. But, what should we go with? Like, poison types, we're, they're not very good, not gonna lie. Um, they can do some annoying stuff, obviously poison you, sometimes paralyze you, stuff like that. Uh, maybe even put you to sleep, but they aren't too hard. They aren't too hard to defeat. So they sometimes also have good defense, but other than that, they're not the greatest. So, what should we go with? I know he, some uh, some I know the, this uh, gym leader I think has some bug types that are poison bug types so Blaziken could come in handy with his fire moves but we might just want to start out with Star Raptor or either Caracos to get some levels on one of them might as well go with Star Raptor and let's begin my friends so we're gonna fight I think uh, Neil I guess I don't know <laughs> says I love bugs you initiated a battle with Neil uh, ooh intimidate cut Crobat's attack was that wait oh pardon me does uh, Star Raptor have intimidate or is that I think, I think it's supposed to say Star Raptor as Intimidate and it cut Crobat's attack. I don't know. But look how sick Crobat looks. I really like that Pokemon. Like, he's honestly really, really cool Pokemon. Not like the strongest, but just very, 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 very cool looking. And uh, I actually got one of them in my Pokemon Gold, like original when I played the game. Uh, original Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal. I actually had a Crobat and he was sick. Like, he was really strong. But uh, he just he can't learn a good variety of moves. That's the only problem. Uh, with him and then like Golbat obviously we have to get a Golbat to a evolve him into a, a uh, Crobat but there we go we defeated him level 55 there we go my friends that's absolutely awesome but Star will probably get wrecked by this wheezing uh, we could go for maybe a close combat I don't think fighting is good against um, against what is it bug Whoa. oh okay he blew himself up okay so we didn't kill him he blew himself up and actually killed us as well so that's not too good. Um, let's go with Caracosta. Like I said, I want to get some levels on him. He is one of our weaker guys. So let's send him out. See if he can do some work against this Venomoth here. And uh, for some reason, it's not letting us attack. Uh, hopefully it doesn't like glitch out here. It just says waiting on and on. Sometimes it does this though. Sometimes you just got to wait. And then uh, just let it go through its cycle. I don't know why it's doing this now. Hopefully it doesn't uh, doesn't continue like this. If it does, it might glitch, and I might have to, um, might have to cut this part. We will see. Wait a couple more seconds. Oh, come on! Don't do this, please. I hope it doesn't screw up if I like have to re-log. Oh, I hope it doesn't screw up. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No. All right, my friends. So it actually did manage to glitch us out, which really sucks. But we are back here and ready to go. So let's uh, let's use or sorry, Crobat. Let's use Star Raptor again. And uh, go after this Venomoth. So I guess his first Pokemon still fainted. That's why we didn't fight the Crobat again. I assume as much. Not too sure though. 
Um, but looks like we might actually be able to take out this Venomoth with our Star Raptor. There we go. And now, Star Raptor is 56. But, oh, so he does have his Crobat again. Or maybe he has a second one. Who knows? I'm not too sure. We'll go for a uh, Brave Bird. We'll try that. Uh, not not the best, not the best. We'll, we'll give it one more go, though. It does a little bit of recoil to us, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I think Aerial Ace is probably the better move to go for. So we'll keep going with another Aerial Ace. Oh, wow. We, oh, we're confused. No, please. Don't don't make us confused. Let's go, Star Raptor, I believe. Uh, yes, we actually did it. Holy cow. Wow. Whoa, what's this? Final Gambit? The user risks everything to attack its target. The user faints, but does damage equal to the user's HP? What? Dudes, that is actually crazy. Holy cow. So basically, it's like a, a kamikaze type attack. You'll, you'll use the attack, but automatically die. And you'll do the same amount of damage equal to your HP. So kind of a sick move, not going to lie. Honestly, like kind of a really cool move. You don't get XP, which is annoying, but if you're in a tough situation, it could be very, very worth it. Um, final Gambit. I don't know. Like, man, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is not, like, I, I'm not going to learn it. I'm not going to learn it. Because, like, why would you, the only problem is I, I'm not going to be able to get good. Wow, we defeated him. Holy cow. I say, I'm not going to be able to get, get good XP from him. But there we go. We got the soul badge. That is absolutely epic. And we just destroyed another gym leader, my friends. Can't even see it because the lighting is really bad in this room. But it's like a heart badge, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, so one step closer to being able to go to Mount Silver and facing Red, which is going to be our, kind of our end goal for this awesome series. So that is going, that is definitely coming up down the road, <coughs> and um, that's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that because the, the final like boss Red fight. And uh, the original games was so much fun. Like, it was a challenge, too. Like, he had really strong Pokemon. You had to be very, very well-prepared, well-trained, all that good stuff. But it looks like uh, we're one step closer. So, uh, if I could pull out the map here, we are now on uh, basically the, the bottom town. Of, like, if you go to the middle of the map and then go to the bottom, we're that town. And then below that, there's water and stuff, and that goes to the next town. So, I'm thinking we could actually... Just go down, basically, and, and go straight to, I think, Cinnabar Island, which is the next uh, the next area of the Kanto region. I think the Cinnabar Island gym leader has all fire types, so it's uh, probably not going to be too difficult for us since we have Caracosta, and we also have Donphan, who has some, uh, some ground-type attacks. So I don't think... Ooh, there's gold there. Hey! I don't think it's going to be that difficult, though, so that's good. But I think it just leads... I think, or I think if you go this way, it leads straight there. Let's, let's see what the sign says. Uh, notice, for your safety, stay within the buoys. Oh, I don't want to stay within the buoys, dudes. I want to go and fly and explore. They must not, uh, think we have a flying, uh, flying type on us. But we do. We have Star Raptor. Magical Star Raptor. It looks absolutely sick when he flies. Like, the, they really did a great job. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, man. Right when I say he's so sick when he flies, I fall into the water. <laughs> great. Awesome. <laughs> I don't think I can get on him again. Shoot, <laughs> that was my bad, but uh, they really did a great job on the new flying animation, and I'm comparing this to Pixelmon 3.0, because that's the first kind of let's play I did regarding the Pixelmon mod, um, but yeah, they really did a great job, like the new flying animation is honestly sick, um, it looks so smooth, like in the beginning it was kind of choppy and kind of glitch out a little bit, uh, this time they really did a great job, and I think that's like across all the Pokemon, like all the ones that I've flown on since 3.9 now, or whatever, 3.3.9, whatever it is now, um, all of them have been really smooth, maybe that's just a few that are still kind of glitchy, but most are pretty good. Alright, there's a sign down there, I'm pretty sure that's just marking the routes, so I don't think I really need to look at that right now. Wow, there's a load of like buoys over here, like... This, I think, is just a direct path, but this cave up here, which there should be a cave, I think leads to Articuno, or at least the Articuno Shrine that you might have to spawn in. Um, is it even worth going in here? We could check it out, I guess. What's this say? Seafoam Islands. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, yes, this is, I'm pretty sure, the Articuno Cave, but it was kind of a hassle trying to find him in the original games. I mean, we could give it a go if you really wanted to, um, but I just don't know if, like, it'll just be a shrine or if it'll be, like, the real Articuno or what so um this could be like a uh a fail mission i don't know i don't want to like get your hopes up and then we just don't find anything you know but we could try it we could try it i could always just uh fly myself out if i really need to but where's the 
I don't even remember where where he was at. He was way deep in here. He like he was not close to the surface at all. Like it was a, it took a while to find him. But that okay, that's the same staircase we or ladder we just went up. You have to kind of go back up and down because each part of the map cuts other parts out. So this is definitely you know what I could just do this. <laughs> I could actually just go on Star Raptor and fly up here. Oh no! Don't take any damage. I don't know if this is the right way or not. Hey, but you could just do that and be a little cheeky. Get up there. Get up here. I don't even know if this is the right spot, but we'll check it out. Lots of ice around here, so maybe that's a good thing. Loads of ice. Holy cow. Look at all this. Oh, is that the... Does this lead to anywhere? Is this back to the beginning? Could be just back to the beginning. Not sure. If it is, then... Yeah, I think it is. If it is, we just don't... I don't think we should waste our time. Um, like, if, you, if, it, if we do just find a shrine overall, uh, we don't have the orb anyway, so it won't really matter. We won't be able to fight him right now. And we'll, we're going on after the Zapdos Shrine anyway, if we even find that. I think that's way back at the power plant. We never really hit that area up, but we could do that if we really wanted to. I don't even know if we'll fill the orb up by the time um, we want to do that, though, because it uh, our orb's not even that full now. We've done a, quite a bit of battle, so not a good sign. <laughs> but here we are. We're already at the next gym, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, I'm thinking we could even just battle this guy this episode. Uh, if possible. Now, I think there's also a mansion. Oh, man. Glitching out a little bit there. I think there's also a, a hidden, man not hidden, but a, like a, a secret kind of mansion thing there that we could also, or maybe should, go and explore. Because in the original games, you weren't able to fight the gym leader until you went through the mansion, kind of did all that stuff, got like, I think, a key, and then uh, we're able to do the gym leader battle. So I'm not too sure if that's like the same here. I probably, it's probably not. Okay, can we not go this way? What the heck? Are we actually not supposed to go this way? Yeah, I guess we aren't. How do you get into the Pokemon Center? Is it? Yeah, it's got to be over there. What the heck? That's really weird. Like it's not let it's not like letting us go that way. It might just be a glitch in the uh, in the area. But yeah, see, look, the entrance is over here. Why would it not let you go over here? I don't know. <laughs> not too sure. But there we go. All healed up. I could have just done a Poke Heal, but. I want to try, try to like just do the normal heals as well. Just to show you guys the uh, different types of areas that we have. Looks like we just have more some more buoys over here. Uh, we could check out what items they're trading. Generally, we got deeper and deeper into the game. You got, or you could uh, buy and sell better items like Ultra Balls. We're starting to see more of um, just some revives, stuff like that. Let's see what the buyer guys. I think you can. Or I think you can buy yeah one of those. Um, oh, that's uh that's our waterfall HM. We do not want to sell that. Oh, uh, we got another badge. We'll throw that there. Can you sell? Can you buy eggs? No, we cannot. Uh, I think that's all. Can't really do anything else. We still have those five max revives, by the way, which I have uh, not needed to use, but we might need to use them on this fight. It just depends. Oh, there's actually a building over here. What's this all about? No idea. Just a random, random cool building, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's like, it looks like it'd be something important here. Maybe this was actually the fossil. Fossil recovery area. I'm not too sure. I think you could actually recover fossils at this uh, at this like this town. So that could be the case. But it looks like this is the mansion, my friends. So we probably should go through. I'll set my spawn point once again, just to be extra safe. And then we will uh, jump in here. It might not work. It's probably not going to work. When it usually when it takes a while like that, it means it's going to spawn us to uh, that teleport that nether teleporter that's not the correct one, like right here. Ah, that is so not good, man. That, it just sucks. I, I'm not too sure if that was supposed to happen or it's just a glitch in the map. Whatever it is, um, we won't be able to see the uh, actual actual place, which is not good. It's very unfortunate. Unless maybe that wasn't even like built into the, this uh, built into this like adventure type map yet. I don't know. But sadly, we aren't, aren't able to go through there. Hopefully, we'll be able to go through this one. If we aren't able to go through this one, I will have to spawn in another one of those trainers. So that's not going to be good. But we'll try it. Hey, it worked. Yes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. At least the gym worked. Like, I'm glad that worked over the uh, mansion. Because, uh, like I said, it's way annoying to spawn another one of those gym leaders in. And you have to give them the Pokemon, and it's not even the real Pokemon. You know what I mean? So, it's never good when you got to do that. But it looks like uh, there's no other trainers to fight in here. But these, like, secret, not secret, but, like, hidden doors here uh, were blocked. And then... You had to go up to this uh, this question thing, answer the question correctly, you wouldn't have to fight the trainer, and then you were able to pass. But if you answered the question wrong, you would have to fight the trainer. I would fight the trainer every time, so I don't know. I just just wanted to get the XP and stuff, because this was a pretty easy gym. Like Fire, like I said, we have uh, we have an Earth-type, Donphan, and a Water-type. Probably should go with Karakos, he is a little bit lower level. 
um, and get some basically some free XP on him, unless these guys are actually good. So this guy's got a Magmar. Um, we could go with like any one of these moves, to be honest with you. Except Crunch, all the other moves would be good. We'll go with an Aqua Tail, though. We'll be, uh, be cheeky and go with that, but wow, do we already... Yeah, we got a critical hit. Holy cow, we already destroyed his uh, Magmar. I think we might be confused, though. Uh, we'll try another Aqua Tail. Ooh, that did a really good amount of damage. Um, like, I think... Did we get it? Yeah, Karakosta, 55, 56. Ooh, Rain Dance. Now, Rain Dance basically powers up the Water-type moves, but... I never knew how much it powered him up. I think it's like around 20%. Not very useful though, unless you're really going for like strategic type battles, like battling your friends and stuff, even doing double battles. Not like a solo series like this. So we're going to forget that. But certain cases, I would actually learn that move. Um, yeah, let's go with another Aqua Tail. Ooh, Poison Jab. I didn't know Rapidash could learn that. I had no idea. Let's finish him off with a Crunch. Hey, there we go, dudes. We got two gym badges so far in this one episode. Got now the Volcano badge as well. Now, I like that badge. It's kind of like a plain type, like just plain color, but it's a really cool design. Like, it looks kind of like a shield and stuff. So I really like that badge. I'll rate that, mate. But uh, let's keep going. So we've done already a load on this episode. We explored uh, the two towns, and when we got both the gym battles both gym leaders defeated got two gym badges so uh how many more gym badges are we actually looking at until we uh until we're able to fight red let's check this out real fast so we have one two three four five so oh where'd that go hey there we go so i'll put the eggs over there this is just a random tm so we have five gym badges right now oh whoa we're losing them there we go it's kind of glitching on me right now, as you can see. We got five gym badges. We only need three more, my friends. Three more. And then we're able to defeat, hopefully, at least fight <laughs> Red. Probably won't defeat him our first time, because I assume he'll have, like, probably level 100s. Not going to lie. If all these gym leaders have like having level 70s, he's going to have, honestly, a crazy, oh, shoot, crazy, crazy, um, pardon me, uh, just level of Pokemon. So we really got to watch out for him. But I think also we could go and at least get to the next town for this episode because I don't think it's too far. I think it'll be actually Pallet Town, so we could go explore that right now. We'll just do tons of stuff, my friends. We'll do, we're gonna we're gonna do tons of stuff today since I uh, have been lacking on the videos uh, kind of last last week, a few days. So we're just gonna go straight next to Pallet Town and kind of just explore that probably. I mean, there's not really much to do there, I don't think. Maybe you can talk to one of the professors or something, but I assume there's really not too much to do there. <laughs> but it was where all of our uh, all the original journey started. If you guys played red, blue, or uh, yellow, so here we go. We're almost there. There's a little grass area right here, which you can fight some random Pokemon at. But we, my friends, now have made it to Pallet Town. Looks like there's a little chimney going on up there or something. Um, what is this? Is this the is this the professor's house? Hey, this is Professor Oak. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I've been meaning to give you this orb for quite some time. What is this? That's a special orb I obtained while doing some business in the Hoenn region. I wanted you to have it. If you take it to Route 48 west of Sion, where there's a tower that these have rumored to have been from. I cannot go myself, but perhaps you can. What the heck? What is this? Blue orb. Huh. I actually have no idea what this is. He said... What do you say again? There's a... Um, it's a Hoenn region orb. What? Is this like a, it's gonna spawn something from the Hoenn region? I don't remember what legendaries are even in the Hoenn region. If you take it to Route 48, west of Cyan, there's a tower that these have rumored to have been from. I cannot go myself, but perhaps you can. Huh. That is actually pretty interesting. I'm not too sure what this will spawn. Or even do. It could just do something random. I assume it'll spawn some type of legendary. But uh, that's pretty crazy. Wow. Wow, 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 dudes. So if you guys know what that does, or even want to just let me know what it does, um, down below in the comments, that'd be much appreciated. Because I have honestly no clue. I don't even know where to take it. It said west of Cyanwood, but that's quite a journey, from at least from right where we're at. Like that's I don't know how, how far of a distance it is, but it's honestly thousands of blocks at least. So we might not want to do that later, much later in the game. Um, okay, another map in here. I think this either might be our house, like, or not our house, but where you first started if you... Going somewhere, you might need some of these. What the heck? There's nothing even in there. Uh, I think this is actually one of the first houses that you started at. 
once like when you first played red blue yellow i think this might be like it might have been your house but i'm not too sure maybe it have been this one i don't know uh we'll check if there's anything over here as well uh no no there's nothing out there okay i guess uh i guess we're good for this town dudes i guess we're good for this town might as well Ooh, that probably is actually pretty strong might as well just head off to the next town at least and uh Making our way there, because that didn't take long at all. That orb is really cool. Like, what is this? A blue orb. I can't even think of a Pokemon that it might spawn. Uh, Hoenn region. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my gosh. There's such a bad, like, terrible glitch right here. Get out of here, Staraptor. There we go. We're good. We're good. I don't know why there's, like, random glitch spots like that. That doesn't make any sense to me. We'll just fly over here. Look at the beautiful scenery. So, yeah. I'm not too sure. Like, one guess... That's kind of been in the back of my mind when we, when we just when we first got this orb was the was Latios. So it's kind of like I think he was a Hoenn type Pokemon, and he's also blue. So that might might be Latios. I'm not too sure. Uh, Latios and Latias were the kind of blue and red dragon flying types that you could see in the region. So uh, this orb is kind of puzzling me. Like this, I'm really confused on about it. So. Not too sure, but my friends, we will be heading off to this gym, which we're now, I think, in Viridian City. Uh, next episode, so if you guys are pumped for that, let me know. Let me know down below in the comments. Also, leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy this episode. We got two gym badges, got this mysterious orb, and just did a load of exploring. We actually, got really far just on this one episode alone. It wasn't even like an abnormally long episode either. So, absolutely awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new to the channel though, please subscribe, it helps out a ton. Also follow me on Twitter to be the first to know when I release a new video, and I will catch you guys on my next video.